We're looking at a much different feel in financial markets into the end of the week from where things kicked off to start the week. On Monday, risk markets were on fire with U.S. equities pushing to record highs and the U.S. dollar broadly under pressure. But all of the euphoria around a coronavirus vaccine and the U.S. election result has faded away with stocks under pressure and the U.S. dollar back in demand. There's been a lot of worry around what to do between now and when that vaccine finally is available, with coronavirus still wreaking havoc on the global economy and plenty of fallout expected in the months ahead. And as far as the U.S. election result goes, if we do in fact see Biden as the next president, investors are now trying to figure out just how effective the incoming president would be, with Republicans still maintaining a good deal of control. Other contributing factors to the downturn in sentiment this week are the economic data releases we've seen, which haven't been great, specifically when talking about Eurozone and UK data. Meanwhile, confidence around a Brexit deal has taken its own hits this week as news swirls of chaos within Boris Johnson's inner circle after two key resignations. As far as today's economic calendar goes, key standouts include German wholesale prices, Eurozone GDP, trade and employment, U.S. producer prices, and Michigan sentiment. We also get a batch of Fed speak.